Yep, bcsurplus.com, that's the online auction site. And uh, here's another estate vehicle that we're selling off uh, for in that auction on September the 13th. Uh, 2023, we're all city auctioneers. We're located here in uh, Langley, British Columbia. And this is lot number P1008. And it is a little uh, Chevy Aveo uh, 5, I think is what they call it. Um, which I'm not sure whether or not that stands for the standard transmission or the fact that it has uh, four doors and a hatchback. So uh, there you go there, Chevy Aveo 5. Uh, anyways, I'll just kind of walk around. Uh, exterior looks to be in pretty de nice condition. Tires are decent. Uh, you know, a few little scratches. You know, there's uh, something there and and a couple of marks. You know, probably could use a, a little bit of a, a, a detail job on the outside. Uh, engine's a little bit rough. You'll hear that when I go to fire it up. And the clutch is quite low. What I would consider low, I don't know whether or not that means it needs hydraulic fluid because I think these are clutches nowadays that auto adjust but uh, the pedals right at the bottom so when you go to let the clutch out it uh, it grabs right away uh, anyways um, let me see here I'll uh, I got the hood up because I don't have my tripod you've been hearing that a lot this time uh, 1.6 liter Ecotec uh, probably a four cylinder engine I guess maybe a three cylinder I don't know it's a 1.6 liter, so probably really fuel efficient. Um, and like I said, it was a standard transmission. I'm going to fire it up first, and that way you can listen to it. Uh, sounds like it might need some exhaust work. Uh, check engine light stays on, so you'll hear all that. A uh, few options inside. Uh, you know, CD player and all this, uh, blah, 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 blah. I think it's a 2010. Uh, I forgot to look at the registration documents before I came out. So uh, you make sure you read the description online because uh, that'll have the correct year uh, printed. Uh, so fire's right up though. Well, okay, this time it stalled. Um, I guess I had that two feet inside the door, not one. So anyways, uh, 126,316 kilometers. Like I said, that check engine light stays on. All these other ones, of course, you know, I got the parking brake on, uh, seat belt, doors open. So all of that stuff goes off, uh, but that check engine light does not. Uh, I will now get out and let you listen to the motor. Just gonna let you put down. It sounds like it needs some exhaust work maybe. Uh, just right down outside the driver's seat. Here's the uh, engine. So, uh, now I'm going to try and put it down, put the hood down, of course, uh, with only one hand, which can be a little bit difficult, so uh, you might get thrown around here. So uh, if you get queasy with uh, lots of uh, wild movements, um, yeah, watch out. Sorry about that. That's why I need my tripod. Anyways, you can kind of hear, it sounds like it's got a little bit of a, I don't know, I don't know, I want to say a miss. The motor's got a little bit of a shake. I also couldn't get the back door to open. I put the key in there, give it a turn, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem to open, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, maybe there's an electronic lock somewhere that I'm missing, but uh, I couldn't see anything anywhere inside here. So, uh, so like I said, this is an estate vehicle. So we really know nothing about it. Uh, this one here, again, we're dealing with an estate manager. And um, so uh, that's uh, about all we know is that, uh, you know, what we can figure out right here. Um, 
There's no air conditioning or anything like that. Uh, stereo, AM, FM, CD, MP3, whatever band sound info. I don't even think it's got phone, but maybe it does. No, it's got an aux cord in. And like I said, it's a stick shift five speed. Um, that seems pretty good, but like I said, the clutch when you go to uh, let it out is right near the bottom. So kind of caught me off guard the first time I went to drive it. Um, but it does drive, uh, you know, pretty decently. Uh, again, a couple of little, little small marks there on the door. Uh, could be just like tree sap or something, not really sure. Uh, we did give the car a wash because it was a little bit dirty when it came in. That did not come off. And uh, like I said, the uh, uh, tiger paw uh, uniroils on the, uh, on, the, on the front there and uh, uniroil on the back, same thing. So like I said, tires are in pretty decent shape. So overall, car looks good. Um, that's about all we know. Like I said, it's an estate vehicle. We know very little about them. So they're all, they always are sold as is, where is. You do get your registration documents, but uh, you really get no history on the car. So this one's selling to the highest bidder on, uh, on uh, September the uh, 13th. We are all city auctioneers. We're located in Langley, British Columbia. And that car is part of a uh, government surplus and estate auction. We've got all this, uh, these vehicles and equipment here and a whole bunch of uh, you know, tools and uh, generators and stuff like that. A few motorcycles, a couple of motorcycles this time. That's all selling on September the 13th from Langley, British Columbia. And uh, we use the website bcsurplus.com. Hope you get another bye-bye auction.